Is this the real life image of a newborn cloned dinosaur? Recently I was sent a link on Facebook to a news site that reported that scientists at Liverpool's John Moore University had successfully cloned a dinosaur. According to the story, scientists were able to extract Apatosaurus DNA from preserved fossils and inject it into a fertile ostrich womb. Apparently, ostriches share a lot of genetic traits with dinosaurs and would make the most viable method of fertilization. The article goes on to claim that the newborn, fondly named Spot, was incubating at the university's College of Veterinary Medicine. Are we on the path to a real-life Jurassic Park? It's an interesting but scary thought. A hatchling can easily weigh as much as a watermelon. Can you imagine a full-grown Apatosaurus on display at a zoo? They can grow up to 75 feet long. That's bigger than three elephants. How could you even contain such a beast? But wait, is cloning even possible? Scientists have been able to clone animals such as sheep for years. There was a famous case of Dolly, the cloned sheep who was born in 1996 but died in 2003. But what about cloning a dinosaur? Well, researchers at the Manchester University attempted to do just that. Using the most advanced extraction methods available, they were completely unable to reclaim any DNA, ancient or otherwise. Why? Because DNA molecules just don't last that long and only have a half-life of around 500 years. So there's no way they could extract DNA from something over 10,000 or 150 million years old. A quick search on the web revealed that this story was a hoax. Can you guess what animal this thing really was? It turned out to be just a baby kangaroo. So, will we ever see a real life Jurassic Park? Scientists say we'd have a better chance at building a time machine than cloning a dinosaur. Yeah.